It has only happened twice. But could two of the four teams in this year's college football playoff wind up coming from the same conference? As our Heather Dinich tells us, it could happen in a conference you may not be expecting. The SEC and the ACC have earned the distinction of being the only conferences that have had two teams head to the college football playoff in the same season. The SEC did it in 2017 when number three Georgia and number four Alabama played for the national title and the ACC sent number two Clemson and number four Notre Dame to the semifinals last year. This fall, the Big 12 could make a case if both Oklahoma and Iowa State finish 12 and one. According to ESPN's Football Power Index, if that happens, there's a 74% chance both teams will make the playoff. Think about it. If Iowa State beats an undefeated OU to win the Big 12 and the Cyclones' only regular season losses to the Sooners, they're in. The committee would also consider Oklahoma as the Big 12's one-loss runner-up. The same can be said if you flip it and OU wins the league, handing Iowa State its only loss of the season. Sorry, Texas fans, but the most likely Big 12 championship game matchup is Oklahoma against Iowa State. The Sooners have an 88% chance to finish in the top two in the conference, while the Cyclones are just behind at 66%. The question is if they can avoid stumbling to anyone but each other along the way. And of course, if the ACC and SEC have anything to say about two teams this fall. All right, now Heather and Paul, I'm sorry, you'll excuse me one second. I'm, I'm calling into Paul Feinbaum's radio show. Uh, Paul, did you hear what she said on Get Up today? She said that there's going to be a conference, gets two teams into the playoff, and it isn't going to be the SEC. Paul, this is blasphemy. Greeny, I think that lady's been affected by global warning. <laughs> I mean, she's been flying too much lately, and she has lost her total perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree. Heather, are you ready to be the object of, and, and believe me, as one who has been there, it's not fun, the object of great derision and scorn on the legendary Paul Feinbaum show this afternoon? Hey, bring it on. And by the way, take a number, you know, right behind Ohio State fans. <laughs> I, it, this, this skin's pretty thick. But listen, I am on the Big 12 bandwagon, in case you couldn't tell, and it's because of Iowa State. I think that they have a chance at a really special season. And it's because they have two Heisman hopefuls on their roster. Not one, two. Brock Purdy, their quarterback. Brees Hall, their running back. They're spectacular. Matt Campbell has the ability to recruit three stars and get them to play like five stars. I talked to their tight end, Chase Allen, last week, and he told me that they are a really special team in terms of they actually like each other, right? Now, I say this, and my theory is going to get blown up if they don't beat Iowa. And I think Iowa is a really great team, and they have a chance for a special year under Kurt Ferentz. So I think that that's one of the, uh, the big questions. If they can get past them, then bring it on, guys. All right, so she's got the Big 12. Paul, I will ask you just a direct question. If any <laughs> conference is going to get two teams into the playoff this year, which do you think it's likely as to be? It, it, uh, nobody would be too surprised by this answer, but it's the SEC, Greeny, <laughs> and it's really simple. Uh, Georgia plays Clemson in the first game of the year. If they win that game, I think they could even afford to lose to Alabama later on. And, and, and Heather, listen, uh, you know, I don't know, you know if you've been out there in the – yeah, in the Midwest for too long on your uh, tour across America the last two weeks. But, you know, if, I, if Iowa State loses to Oklahoma, where are they going to go for strength of schedule? I just mentioned Georgia and Clemson. Al Alabama, you know, can run the table and get in. They could maybe even lose at Texas A&M and get in. Uh, this is not because I work for the SEC Network. Well, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that. Uh, <laughs> but, but the point is... <laughs> Alabama and Georgia have a much better chance. I think Oklahoma is a serious threat, but Iowa State, come on. They're, they're not gonna, they will not go undefeated, well, and they will not get in. Now, listen, I, I got to go back on Paul here with strength of schedule because if you're talking about the SEC East and you want to talk about strength of schedule, I saw Green, you just had Kyle Pitts up there. Bye-bye, right, Kyle Trask, bye-bye. Besides Georgia, who you got? They better win that Clemson game because they've got nothing else on their schedule. I'm just setting well, my phone to listen I mean, I, to Paul's I, I, show I, later today. I, I can't but, even fathom. But, but I, I'm telling you, but, but, but here's the deal, Heather. 
They're going to beat Clemson, so it's, going, it's not even going to be an issue. And after they win that game, they can cruise their way through the rest of the season. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.